So in the last video, we have seen what is abstract class and what is abstract method and how to use it. In this video, we'll see what are the uh, application of abstract class. Now to demonstrate the application, let me remove all this extra code which have, we have used earlier. And let me define a class again and we are going for the class name called as x. I'm sorry for using x every time, just, uh, just is it right? So we we'll go for x now. And let's say we have a method called as public void show. So everything is normal. We have, uh, we have a class x, we have a method called as show. And in this method, I'm writing print ln. Let's say print ln. And let me say it's hello. Simple, right? Now, to call this show, I need to get object, right? So I will write a uh, object to call this show. But let's say in this class, I don't have any method. The only thing ha I have is uh, int variable, uh, int i, maybe. And I have some sensitive methods here. Okay, so I have something here. But I don't want anyone to create object of x. It's because if you have class x, anyone can instantiate that object will say new x. But I want to stop someone by for creating the object of this x. Now how to stop? The, the only thing we can do is we can make this uh, make, we can make this class as abstract. If you make it abstract, you can see we cannot create object of abstract class. So how to stop someone by instantiating the class is by adding the uh, a class as abstract. This is one way. The second way is by defining defining a private constructor. So if you write a private constructor and again it will stop for creating an object. So we have two ways. <coughs> First is by making your class as abstract and second is this private constructor. So that's one way, that's one use of abstract class. Now let's see what is the second use, a second application. Now let's say uh, I have a class called as ATM. So instead of going for X, let's say, or not, uh, ATM will say the class is card. And in this class card, I have three methods. Now this, what is this card here? Let's say you have a bank and your bank offers three types of cards. One card is public void, void ATM. So you provide ATM service. And in this will say system dot out dot print ln. And what we'll do here, we'll print its ATM. So we provide one more feature, we'll say public void debit. So instead of going for three features, we'll go for two features here. So we have ATM and we have debit. So we'll say public uh, print ln. I will do one thing, we'll go for three to elaborate this example more properly. We'll go for three methods. So we'll say public void, we'll say credit. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, and then this will say system dot out dot print ln and in double quotes will say this is credit. Okay, so now we have three methods. One is ATM, second is debit and we have credit. Okay, and see, instead of writing this, this code in this line here, we can write the exact logic of how ATM works, how debit works, but not our concern, right? The only concern I have here is to focus on those three methods, not the working of those three methods. Now let's say if, if some customer comes to me and say, I need a card, so I will say, okay, you need a card, you need an object of card, right? So we'll say this card as OBJ1. But that person only needs ATM service. So if I say new card, and if I give this OBJ object or OBJ1 to that person, I will say, okay, I'm giving this OBJ1, it has three features, ATM, debit, and credit. Since you want only ATM feature, please use only ATM. Don't use this as credit card. He will say, okay. But... After some time, he will go and say, okay, I want to use ATM. So no errors. If I run this application, and bingo, the output is ATM, right? But let's say after some time, he just tried to call credit. It sh he should get an error, right? But since it is uh, the card of, this, this is the object of card class, which has credit methods. If you run this application, you will get both the features. And we don't want our customer to use a credit feature when he is asking only for ATM. So what's the solution? Now one of the solution for this is you can write all these methods in different different class. You can write a class called as 
ATM class, you can write a class called as debit class, you can write a class called as credit class. And you can implement those methods there. Right? That's one that's one way. But I don't want to go for that way. I want to say if a user asks you for only for only a credit method or a, a credit card, he should get only a credit 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 feature, but all the features should be only in one card. Now how to restrict that? That will see in the next part.